Hello, welcome to the Multi Charts video tutorial series. My name is Johnny Keck. I am a representative from AMP Futures, and thank you for taking the time today to learn more about our platform. Uh, we'll be creating a series of videos on this channel that will focus on each of the, uh, the features of the platform with a detailed overview on how to use the specific functions within Multi Charts. Today, we're going to cover how to download the platform, install the software, connect to your broker profile, so this way you can access real time data, or if you're actually trading a live account, you'll know how to get connected and uh, get started in trading a real environment. We appreciate your time and hope you enjoy the content and let's get started. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and download the platform. So if you are a, a new customer or you don't have an account with AMP Futures and you're interested in taking multicharts.net uh, for a test drive on a 14-day trial period, be sure to go to our website at www.ampfutures.com. Alright, so you can see the, the website URL at the top there. Want to go on the home page, and we have a pretty good selection of platforms here. You'll notice right in the middle of the page there, multicharts.net 9.1 AMP exclusive. We're going to go ahead and hit free demo in the middle of the page there. Uh, for those of you that are not aware, multicharts.net is a free platform that's exclusively offered at AMP Futures for free. Uh, typically, software package that's $99 a month outside of AMP Futures. So we're going to go ahead and click Futures on the left side. And the next step is we're going to go ahead and input the information that it's asking for on the request form. So go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do it. I already have a username and password that's been assigned, but I will get, I will walk you through the steps and what will happen when you do fill it out. So you're going to put your first and last name, your email, uh, go ahead and fill out the CAPTCHA, then hit free demo. And when you do that, it's going to immediately take you to our download center page, which looks just like this. All right, this is where you're going to choose what version you have to download based on if you have a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system. So be sure to select the appropriate download. I do have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to go ahead and click on new 9.1 download. And then you will see that it's prompting me to either save or run the file. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And now it's downloading the executable file, and I'm waiting for that to complete so I can actually install the software. And while we're waiting for this to download, I, I do want to point out uh, I normally recommend disabling antiviruses or firewalls only during the installation process of multicharts.net. Uh, from my experience in working with customers, uh, depending on which antivirus you have, uh, Kaspersky, Avast, sometimes uh, we'll be a little overzealous and feel that the, the multicharts software could be potential danger to your hard drive, so sometimes it will block certain components from being installed. So I, I just like, for peace of mind, just temporarily turning off the antivirus and the firewall just to make sure that all the proper files are installed. So therefore, you don't have any complications when you get started. Now that the installation uh, has been completed in terms of the, the actual download, we're going to go ahead and run the actual install. And you will see this prompt here. Now, you do have to have Microsoft.NET Framework. That is a requirement to run multicharts. It will tell you automatically if you already have it installed on your computer. 99% uh, of, of the time, I usually see that most customers or users on Windows have Microsoft.NET Framework installed. So we're going to go ahead and install. If you don't have it installed, the installer will actually automatically prompt you to install the proper version, so you don't have to go onto the Microsoft website to locate it. It should automatically give you a prompt. And just go ahead and follow the wizard and just simply download, download Microsoft.NET Framework, and uh, you will be all, well on your way in getting started. So now we have the wizard up. We're going to hit Next. We're going to accept the license and terms agreement. And this is where the file will be stored. So if you have a partition hard drive, you might want to change it to a different hard drive. Or if, if not, then mainly, most of the time, you'll just leave this as default. We're going to keep the shortcut, shortcut icons enabled as well as my quick launch bar. I'm a fan of that. You don't necessarily have to have these options checked. It's all personal preference. I'm going to hit Install. And now we're going to go through the installation process. So this probably should take about uh, three to five minutes, uh, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, I don't have a supercomputer, so it's, I would probably say on a scale 1 through 10, it's probably a 7. So uh, it's probably going to take me about 3 to 4 minutes to install it. But we'll see here. So you can see that the progress bar is starting to move. And one of the things I want to point out is sometimes, uh, depending on you know certain computers, I've seen this happen where when I'll be helping a customer, and you'll notice that that progress bar will just stay static. It won't, there won't be any progress. It won't move. Or you won't see any files being installed. So if that's the case... What I would recommend is every so often just take your mouse cursor and just kind of drag the window around. It seems to kind of wake things up and get things moving. Uh, so I, that's something that I've noticed uh, with certain computers, and I don't know why it does that. But uh, if you do notice that in, during your process, just be sure to move the actual inst installation window around. It'll, it'll start to kick in gear. 
And uh, going back while we're waiting for the installation process, it's important, again, to make sure that you do request for the demo credentials off our website. Uh, in order for you to actually access real-time data for 14 days on the trial, you're going to receive a username and password, and that is required for you to access real-time data. So you will have real data, tick for tick. There is no delay. And then uh, for live users, for someone that does have a live account with AMP Futures and they're looking to get their live account, account connected, uh, I will show you it's the exact same procedure what we're doing right now in terms of installing the software. However, there is a different procedure when we go to input the credentials, and I'll go ahead and point that out once we get to that stage. This normally is the last uh, section or portion of the, pro uh, the installation progress, which is removing backup files. And uh, sometimes what will happen is you'll see it just stay static, as you can see on the screen. That is normal. Uh, so just give it a little time. If you notice, though, however, if, it, if it's taking an unusual amount of time, then I would say move that, that window around again. It, it should kick in. And again, it's not uh, a behavior of, of multi-charts installation file. It's just something that I've seen with computers. Uh, right now, for example, I, I don't need to do that on my computer. It normally will install the file correctly without having me to move the window there. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to complete, I will show you what the email looks like that you should be getting with your username and password. So this is the uh, username and password email that you receive. It will give you a little brief overview of what functions are available on the platform, and then you'll have your username and password. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish here. We are now completed with the installation process. And what you're going to see on your desktop is you're going to see a series of icons. Uh, I do apologize it's not on the screen. This is my second monitor, but I'll go ahead and show you the icons. Uh, this is the main icon right here that you want to use, the multicharts.net special edition. That's really the, the main icon that you want to click to, la to launch the actual software. The other icons that you see uh, are mainly for other functions within the platform that we'll cover later in the series. But for now, just simply double left click this icon here, and uh, I'm going to show you the next step here. What you're looking for is when you double click the icon, you're looking for the multicharts.net splash screen and that will pop up to give you an indication that the platform is in progress of, of uh, pulling up onto your desktop. All right, and then when you open the software, you will see a getting started wizard. This is the screen that you'll see, exactly. So we have multiple data feeds that work with multicharts.net, TT Net Training Technology, CQG, LMAX, and Rhythmic. The demo credentials are specific to CQG, so we're going to go and select CQG. If you're using a live account, you're going to select the data feed that you've chosen to, to get it created for your actual account here at AMP. So you do have the choice of working with either Rhythmic, CQG, or AMP TT Net. And whichever data feed you decide to go with, you want to make sure you select the proper gateway. In this case, we're using demo credentials for CQG, so we're going to select CQG, hit Next, and then you will see where you can enter your login credentials. All right, so now we're going to go to our email. We're going to make sure mode is set to demo. Now, this is where the difference is between a demo user and a live user. If you're using a live account, then you just want to hit the drop-down menu and change that to live. If you're using a demo account, just change that to demo. So for now, we're going to go in and stick with the demo environment. And I'm going to go and copy and paste my user credentials. Now, this is very important. When you copy and paste your username and password, you have to make sure it's a cop uh, perfect copy and paste. What I mean by perfect copy and paste, there cannot be any spaces before or after the username or password. Otherwise, it will think that it's an extra character, and it's going to give you an invalid username and password error message when you try to log in. So you can see as I'm highlighting, it's a perfect copy and paste. I recommend copy and paste. Uh, everything is case sensitive when it comes to the password, and sometimes you'll see some some you know weird characters in there. So to eliminate human error, I, I usually like just to copy and paste just to make sure that I know that I'm putting in the information correctly. All right, now that I have it in there, I'm going to hit finish. And uh, I'm going to bring over...
And what happens is when you're in the progress of getting connected to the platform, you will see an audio voice that will say connected. And let me go ahead and move the multi-charts workspace over to the main screen here. All right, and what you're looking for is if you look at the top here, the trade bar. So this 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 whole this entire console just pulled up immediately after I inputted the demo credentials. All right, and then so what you're looking for is you're looking for a green connection to the broker profile, and that will give you an indication that you are connected successfully to the data feed. It does take a while. To, this is the actually pre-built workspace that we've created for our customers. So this is a sample workspace. But the main thing you're looking for is for the data to come in. So there's a lot of instruments. That's why it's taking a bit of time for the charts to load. But you will see that the data will start to come in. When you log into multi-charts for the very first time, it does take a little while to kind of get everything loaded in. And the reason why you're not seeing data on these contracts is because these contracts actually expired a couple weeks ago. So I do apologize for that. Uh, we're no longer trading March. We're trading June on a lot of the indexes as well as the currency. So that's why you're not seeing data come in. But technically, we do have live data. And now you are connected. So pretty much uh, you, these are the charts. And this is pretty much how you get started in terms of downloading the platform, getting connected, and verifying that you have a successful connection. And this wraps up the introduction of getting started. This is a, a review and recap of pretty much how to log into the actual platform. If you have any questions, we are a 24-hour support team. Feel free to give us a, a call at any time at www.ampfutures.com. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.